Hi, we're closing the gap between actual real life draping and draping in Gravity Sketch. In this video, this is the muslin digital draping method. Here's a finished male form, and in this video, we're going to demo out how to do this with a female body form. So first, we're going to start laying out the horizontal landmark line, such as the back neckline. And then afterwards, the across back, the waistline, the high hip, and the low hip. Before we start laying down the horizontal lines, let's organize the layers so we keep our lines, our verbiage, and our mannequin on a separate layer. And now that the back neckline line is drawn, we can go ahead and use the Smart Move tool and continue down the body, making the across back line, the waistline, high hip, and low hip lines. And notice it emulates a real life dress form landmark lines. And once we're happy with our horizontal lines, let's finish labeling them and then lining up our horizontal lines with our vertical center back line. So here with the select tool, we'll push the purple button with the gimbal and get them a little bit more precise and lining up the horizontal lines with the center back vertical line. Okay, sweet. Let's take that back neckline and wrap that around to make a collar. We'll continue taping around the body form and also make any edits or adjustments along the way. And why are we all doing this? We're doing this in prep to create some really nice guidelines when we start draping or surfacing over the mannequins. And these lines will help us guide where to click or lay down our edge lines when we are surfacing. And you'll see that in the next video. So let's finish up this apex line and start with the armhole. And while we're taping the armhole in Gravity Sketch, we're doing the exact same thing, taping the armhole on a real dress form in real life. And here the same thing goes with the side seam. So in this video, we're just working on the bodice, but we're gonna just go all the way straight down the leg because we will prep this for also creating bottoms as well. And again, we're using the arrow select tool and then pushing the purple button on our non-dominant hand and using the gimbal for a more accurate movement. This is prepping the mannequin. And in the next video, we're gonna show you how to lay the lines that will help you digitally drape your muslin.